Hello, Nathan McScary here, and welcome to this week's Move with MET Challenge. This week, we're gonna focus on juggling technique. I'm gonna show you how to juggle three balls, and then I'm even gonna show you a bonus technique, which is gonna be great because it's gonna open up the door right off the bat to learn three new beginner patterns. Also, be sure to share your video and tag Michigan Entertainment and Talent. Use hashtag MoveWithMET to be entered into a drawing to win a prize at the end of each month. To begin juggling three balls, we start with a single ball. Feet shoulder width apart, back straight, elbows at your sides, palms up, and throw the ball from side to side so it peaks on the other side and lands in the other hand, like so. Other side, go back and forth. Try to get it about head height. You can go a little higher or a little lower, but in that general area. Once you have that down, we move to two balls. Throw the same ball to the other side, like you did previously, but when it reaches its peak, throw the other ball underneath it to the other side. You want them to go about the same height, but at different times, and then they'll switch hands. Now what you do not want to do is you do not want to hand it off. So avoid doing things like this. Rather, you want to throw them both at the same height in the same manner, just to different sides and at different times. So for example, when this ball reaches its peak, I'm going to throw the other one underneath it. The pattern will be throw, throw, catch, catch. Looks like this. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Once you have that down, do it on the other side. Then alternate, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Now we're gonna move to three balls. Start with two balls in your dominant hand and one in your non-dominant. This time you're gonna throw the third ball when the second ball reaches its peak. So you're gonna go one, two, three, throw, 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 and you're gonna catch all three. And they're effectively gonna switch hands. So these two will end up in this hand and this one will end up in this hand. What you're doing here is you're doing a flash. That's juggling terminology. That means you have done as many catches as you did the number of objects. So three balls, three catches. That looks like this. One, two, three. Do that and stop. Then once you have that down, do it on the other side. Once you have the flash down, move to four throws and four catches. Then five. Then six. When you get to six, you've done what is known as a qualify. That means you have qualified the juggling pattern by getting twice as many catches as objects. So three balls, six catches. After that, just keep adding throws until you can do it as long as you like. Bonus technique! We're gonna learn a quick technique here called an over-the-top throw. So you'll notice when I juggle a normal pattern, this is a cascade, the balls come out from underneath one another. Well, when you do that, your arms are kind of moving just a little bit like this, like an inside-out pattern. Well, if you were to reverse that, they would go outside-in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw one ball from outside in so it goes over the top. To do that, first of all, just practice juggling normally, then throw one over the top and stop. Again, other side, and just work on that till it's smooth. Once you have that down, try throwing one over the top but keeping the pattern going, like this side. Once you have that down, that's opened up the door for three new patterns right off the bat. Here's one you can do. Take that over the top throw, and as soon as you catch it on the other hand, throw it over the top again back to the other side, so it's always the same ball going over the top back and forth. Looks like this. This is known as juggler's tennis, because one ball is getting hit back and forth, like in a tennis game. Another one you can do is have one hand throw nothing but over the top throws on every throw 
and the other hand remains the same throwing standard cascade throws. So this one's going to continue throwing underneath and this one's going to throw over the top on every one. This creates what's known as the half shower. It looks like this. Lastly, if you were to do nothing but over the top throws continuously with both hands, that creates a time reverse pattern. That is, it's going to be the exact same pathways as the normal cascade, but it's going in reverse, as if you were playing it backwards. So if you do that, that creates what's known as the reverse cascade. It looks like this. Thanks for watching and good luck.